Welcome. I am super excited to bring this deck to you. Sasquatch just unlocks the potential of Scar to the fullest. You can legitimately get a free Scar. This deck is all about playing big power across all lanes. The deck is called You Can't Shang Shi Me in All Three Lanes or something to that effect. And it just puts a lot of pressure on the opponent, which they will almost definitely play into Panopticron. Cannonball. Yeah, I needed my Raft card. Oh, that's interesting. What in the world? I did actually a bunch of climbing off stream, so we're starting at 4,144, and we will see how high we can continue the climb. Alrighty, first up we have Thalaris. We have a decent starting hand. I like to see my small cost cards in hand, of course, to start the game. Iceman is here for disruption. We play the Nebula to the unrevealed location. So our Nebula won't grow because they will play their kitty there. Oh, it'll grow once. Thanks, Pet Mansion. So that is nice. Here we go. So now I snap because this is a perfect curve. We have Mysterio. Oh, Pet Mansion actually blocks the Mysterio play. <laughs> no worries. We will go with Iceman instead. The reason I say that is Pet Mansion says all cards must be played here. And Mysterio is play illusions. So the illusions actually won't spawn. So I am going to... With Panopticron, the illusion gets plus two. So I definitely don't want to play the real Mysterio there. So now it's just do I load up mid or right i think i challenge the angela lane next turn i'll be able to get sasquatch down and then the following turn is both mockingbird and call maybe or no mockingbird is two so i'll just play it by ear the next uh the next turn based on what they do And it would be nice to get Scar. Uh, US Agent. US Agent is negative four. There's Scar. So I think I avoid the raft. So get Sasquatch down. We will see based on my next turn what I draw into. Oh, Rogue. Can I snap again? <laughs> rogue is fantastic. No! Let's see. I want the I want the raft card. So I rogue and snatch their US agent. This is why rogue is in the deck. Oh, Infinite, of course. Okay, so I still may lose. Yeah. Oh, Infinite. It did me dirty. Okay, so I do have the real Mysterio mid. That might be enough. So I'm just going to throw down Scar left and see how this fares. Now, they do have the Raft card, which they will almost definitely play into Panopticron. Cannonball. Yeah, I needed my Raft card. Oh, that's interesting. What in the world? What in the world is going on? <laughs> My opponent snatched victory from defeat. Victory. Or defeat from victory. Yikes. 
do not subscribe. This channel is a secret. Yikes. This was kind of a not a good stay on my part, but uh, I don't know what the opponent was thinking. It is hard to, to determine. Of course, I did get lucky with the Nebula going mid. I needed the Nebula to go middle. But that is a very interesting play. But I will, I will take that lucky win uh, to start off this run. Okay, next up is Phantom, top 2k player. Sinister London is kind of beautiful. As long as they don't have Sean. <laughs> this is when you actually can Sean many lanes. Oh, the Mockingbird's going to get discounted too. Get down the spider ham. That's why he is in this deck for disruption purposes. Okay, magic is gone. With Daredevil, they might be a... That is fine. With Daredevil, they might be a Professor X deck. And White Widow. But we are kind of getting a cheap Mockingbird. Okay, I think I play Cull. Where do I want to play him, though? I will play Cull right because my turn 5 is going to be Sasquatch left, and then I have a Blob and a Scar. So I'm kind of afraid to snap, because I'm not quite sure what they are up to. So get Sasquatch down. We will see if they snap into this or not. Because I may bail. They did not. Perfect. And then Scar is free. Oh, a Doc Ock play. Interesting. You can't play cards here. Oh, Doc Ock is kind of messed up like that but I think they got me because I can't duplicate yeah they got me I can't get a card right their Hulk their red Hulk is too large so it would flip this location I would win that's an hilarious snap I would win middle because how many cards do I have in my deck? Three. My big cards are all down, I think. Sasquatch, Cull, Mockingbird, Scar, and Red Hulk. So I only have small cards in my deck. So the best play would probably be Red Hulk and Scar. But there's no way for me to get power into this location because Sasquatch decided to go middle instead of right. So we just retreat. Lose one cube, and on to the next. Okay, next up we have... the four Z... Hmm? Get our sunspot down. One of the unrevealed locations. X Mansion helps with a potential Mockingbird. Play Nebula down middle. Spread out the one cost. X Mansion is also helpful because they have one less spot to play to stop my Nebula from going off. Which idea is fantastic. Nothing to do here, so we pass. I will have a four cost Mockingbird next turn. So, because of the X Mansion. They get down their Cyclops on turn three. It's 
So I play my Mockingburger Call. I play my Call down. I'm going to snap. The reason I'm playing Call is if I draw into Scar, I can play a Scar and a Mockingbird on the last turn. I will play Sasquatch next turn left, and then I will play Blob middle and just force them to have to compete to all planes. They may soak and try to buff up their sunspots, but continue the plan and just see if they can outpower us across all three lanes. Magic, okay, so they might soak this turn. And if so, I think I wanna get the Red Hulk down now. I definitely want to get a 10 power card down now. I would love to spider ham and hit their She-Hulk or something. But we will have to we will force them to play to all lanes, essentially. So do I stack my I think I stack my Red Hulk left too. Interesting. I didn't expect them to fill, but... <laughs> That's nice. So, left is one. And now, I know I have Scar in my deck, because I've been saying his name a lot. So, one, two, three, four, five. So, I think Scar is the only big one left in my deck. Yeah, and it didn't matter. Victory. So my play would have, of course, been to play for middle. And my thought is it probably would have been Blob. Yes, it definitely would have been Blob because that would have been the most amount of points. And just, again, force them to have to win all three lanes. They already lost left. And the reason, again, I played Red Hulk left was because I was expecting them to full float so I just wanted to have, I wanted to force them to have to play their biggest card, which is going to be Hulk or Infinite. I wanted to force them to play it left. That way I know how many points I have to beat middle and I can just load up middle accordingly. So it would have been Blob and Iceman since that would have been the most amount of points. And I know they couldn't win right with just the She-Hulk. Okay, next up we have Namroth. I really like this. This is a good opening hand. I have my early game. I have one of my late game cards in Blob, which is the late game card I would want to have early. Maximize that power. I think I play Nebula into Sewer System and Iceman here. Just spread out our one cost cards. A Pixie Gamer. Mysterio. So we are going to be loaded up with all kinds of big cards. I can sneak my Sasquatch into the big house. I will play Mysterio middle. The real Mysterio. Uh, get that power there. I can definitely get power in the big house. But with Pixie, they can too. Now, if they play Mobius, I'm in a little bit of trouble this turn. Because I won't be able to play my discount, discounted Sasquatch. But we will see if they actually play out Mobius. They do not. It's probably a Mysterio, just like me. And this is why I spread out my power and one cost uh, for if I had coal, I could get coal in any lane I want. Play down Sasquatch. If I draw into Scar, he's completely free because of the two Hulks plus Sasquatch. 
So we are just going to perfect timing. So now we play. Do I play Cole mid? Yes. Because you can't Sean me everywhere. And so we will spread out our power. Scar is off the table. So this is going to be either Blob or Red Hulk. And the real Mysterio is middle. And we're forcing them to play middle. Their real Mysterio is probably middle too. So one of this deck's weaknesses, of course, is Mobius. That's why I run Rogue. So if I had Scar and Rogue in my hand, instead of playing Cole, I would have played Rogue. That way I could make up those points later with a free Scar. But I don't have either of those two cards in my hand. So we just play the deck, the hand we're given and spread out our power wide. Force them to have to compete everywhere. Okay, the real Mysterio is not mid for them. So can they win all lanes? That is the question. They don't have a... And my real Mysterio is mid... They don't have a Century Annihilus play. They might do Cannonball. I'll play Red Hulk for fear of Cannonball. Because Blob can't be moved. That's nice. Victory. So another great example of why you spread your big power very few players are just able to try to compete and get enough power across all three lanes. Even though, if you look at it, the difference isn't that big, right? So I only have a two point lead left and I only have a six point lead right. Middle, it's even bigger, but so we'll just ignore that. So my, my leads on the out, outer locations are small, but yet, you know, you as a player, it's very difficult to even add three points here, seven points here. And if you abandon this lane, that's fine. So you just need three points here and six points here. But also, I can still play. So you kind of need even more points in one of these two lanes. And then my real Mysterio might be in one of these two lanes. So there's just a lot to handle. And this deck specifically can really overwhelm the opponent. Ye will like, or I will snap this nerd away. I hope you enjoyed the Sasquatch gameplay. We ended our rank at 3,397. Let me get into the deck breakdown. Okay, so with this deck, I constructed something that has disruption, early game, and a a lot of power for the late game that you can make up for that lack of power in your early game. So Sunspot is a good scaler when you need to skip turns and there will be some of that. Or you just be floating energy because you'll have discounted cards. You have Nebula, which is a little bit of a control element and also another one cost card, a good one cost card. We have Spider Ham and Iceman. Everybody should know at this point how disruptive those cards can be. Uh, they can be pretty annoying and ruin your opponent's game plan. Mysterio works with two of our cards now, Sasquatch and Mockingbird, which is fantastic. So the ideal line with this deck is Sunspot on turn one, Mysterio on turn two, Sasquatch on turn three, and then turn four is Cull, and turn four five is your choice so you can float you can play a discounted mockingbird you can play a discounted scar you can play uh if you did weren't able to play sasquatch earlier you can play sasquatch who is now five because you played a card before on turn four 
And then your last turn, you potentially have a zero cost scar. You have a cheap Mockingbird. Depending on locations, she might be free. You might have a cheap Sasquatch, you might not, but again, this is turn six, so we have Blob and Red Hulk for that. If your big cards are in your hand, there are five of them. That's how I remember, since I don't use a tech deck tracker. I have five big cards, so if I see five cards on the board or in my hand that are nine power or more, I know not to play the Blob. The Blob is going to be tiny because my small cards are not a lot of power. I made that mistake once uh, off stream and my blob was eight power. So you, you don't want to play an eight power blob. You would much rather want to play your bigger six cost cards. If you don't have any of these cards in this deck, you can make substitutions. Your one cost cards are all interchangeable. You can slot them in and out. I like to keep disruption for a deck like this uh, because you can make up for it on the back end with a lot of power. Rogue is exchangeable. You could put in Enchantress, Shang-Chi. The reason I didn't put Sean in this deck is because, one, I need a way to fight against opponent Mobiuses. Storm, uh, Rogue can do that. And I also don't need Sean because I'm going so wide with my power that I'm just winning on power. I don't need Sean to offset my opponent's power, I can just beat them on power alone. And then the top end can also be somewhat replaceable. Now, cards like Sasquatch, Blob, Mockingbird, and Scar are less so. Uh, and if your big cards are in your deck, Blob saves that. So, but the other cards can, as long as you still have big, uh, big power cost, big power cards, then you should be good. So this deck is super powerful. It impressed me almost instantly. You still need to be careful with snapping and retreating, but the amount of pressure you can apply across all three lanes to your opponent is just fantastic. So give it a spin. Let me know what you think. And if you have any questions, comments, uh, by all means, let me know. I respond to uh, every message I get. And otherwise, have fun and see you later.